Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to review a question from the ASVAB exam. If the price of a gallon of gas increases from $3.20 to $3.68, what percent did it increase? So the first thing I want to do is talk about answering the question that's being asked. So in this question, they want to know what percent did it increase? So the first step I'm going to do is look at the difference in price. So I'm going to subtract $3.28 from $3.68. And the difference is going to be 48 cents. In the second step, what I will do is take the difference, which is 48 cents, and put it over the original price. So the original price is $3.20. Now 3 and 20 hundredths is the same as 3 and 2 tenths. And since this zero is not going to make a difference to my problem, I'm going to drop it and just make it 3 and 2 tenths. Since I'm looking for the percent, I'm going to multiply by 100 over 1 because percent is always over 100. And I'm just putting this in the fraction format because 100 over 1 is the same as 100. OK, so now we're just going to multiply straight across. So 48 hundredths times 100 is equal to 48. And 3.2 times 1 is equal to 3.2. OK, now we have to simplify this. And the way that we would simplify this is to divide. So we're going to divide 48 by 3 and 2 tenths. Now, anytime you have a decimal as your divisor, you need to change it into a whole number. And the way that we do this is we just move this over and the decimal place over until we have a whole number. So now 3 and 2 tenths is 32. To make this equation stay balanced, we also must do the same thing inside. So we're just taking the decimal that would be here and move it over one place and add a zero. So now we have 32 into 480. So I'm just going to look at 32 going into 48. So there, 32 goes into 48 one time. 1 times 32 is 32. And I would find the difference, which would be 16. Now I'm going to bring down the 0. And one of the issues that I find that people have is sometimes they feel overwhelmed looking at a two-digit number going into a three-digit number. So what I recommend is front-end estimation, where I just look at the first number of the divisor and the first two digits in the dividend. So now I'm going to say, all right, how many times could 3 go into 16 without going over? Well, 3 times 5 is 15, so I know that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is do 32, because I'm going to multiply the whole number by 5. So 5 times 2 is 0, or 10, carry the 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus the 10 that we carried, and so it would be 160. So I'm going to put the 5 up above the 0 and 160 down here. And when I subtract, I have nothing left. So 15% is the change in price from the new or the old price to the new price. I hope this was of help. If you need uh, any tutoring assistance, please feel free to check my website at www.molenstutoring.net.